at the microbrew we like to feature games that are easy to learn and quick to play and we like to invite our local game community to come and learn to play these games with us and tonight i'm joined by my good friends way and y'all know jeff and tonight we are playing welcome to the dungeon and i put the box over here <laughs> yes i love it all prepared thank you that way i can just go Welcome to the Dungeon is a reprint of Masato Yasugi's uh, Dungeons of Mandom. And uh, Yellow uh, acquired the title and redid the artwork, added some characters, and Yellow fight it the way that they do. And, uh, and it, now we have this edition now, which I really, really like. It plays um, from two to four players, but I really like this as three. So we, we got three of us here today. So I'll go ahead and uh, we'll go over how to play. So in Welcome to the Dungeon, what we are doing is we're taking on the roles of warriors and mages and uh, maybe thieves. And we're sitting around the, uh, the tavern with our mugs of ale. And we are, we are engaging in the noble art of one-upsmanship. We're trying to outdo one another, um, which way will have a natural advantage when playing sure. this game. I've played it on the moon. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's right. I imagine that you have. Um, so, uh, he wins and we can go home. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was a good game. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, the idea is, um, this is kind of like a game of chicken. And as we, um, we play this game, we will start to pass turns and, and one of us will be forced to go through this dungeon and have to face whatever monsters that we put in it with whatever um, equipment that we have. So most of this game centers around this deck of 13 cards. These are 13 different monsters and they're all um, shown on this reference card that you all have and I'll put one on the screen there and you'll see that um, every monster is shown. So there's two um, goblins in the deck, um, there's two skeletons all the way down to the final dragon. The numbers to the left are how hard they will hit you if you have to face them and you don't defeat them. So the goblins will hit you for one, while the the um, the, gob the golems will hit you for five. You know, and then the little icon to the uh, to the right will show you uh, maybe a, one of the the main ways to defeat that monster. So okay. whether it's a torch or the grail, different things to to um, to make sure they don't hurt you. And so on your turn, you ha you're going to do one of two things. You'll either draw a card and look at it without anybody else, um, you're the only one seeing it, and he'll cheat, so you watch that. Um, or you pass, and if you pass, you're out of the round okay. until the next round starts. And, one. Um, <laughs> we'll reshuffle. If you, if you pass and you're out of the round, um, then, then you've chickened out of the, of the game, and you will be forever labeled as um, sissy pants, or something of that nature, My and we will, we will all mock you. And um, and anyway, that's that's kind of what happens when you pass. Um, and we'll all keep playing until there's only one left. So that that one person is kind of forced to go through the dungeon. But what we're going to do most of the time, and what you should do, is you should draw the card and then decide: Am I going to put this in the dungeon, which will make the dungeon right here by the equipment oh, here? Okay. Um, am I going to put this in the dungeon for whoever it is to face? Or am I going to keep this monster out of the dungeon and we'll discard them near us like this? And when you discard them out of the dungeon, you have to take um, an item with you. And we all get to see what that item is that you're taking out. And what you're basically saying is, I'll go through this dungeon, but I'll go without my armor. You know, I'll go with my, you know, you know <laughs> that kind of thing. Back. Yeah, that's right. Everybody, whoever goes through the dungeon will have to go through. That's, with whatever. That's the community. Yeah, with whatever. Um, so we're all, this, this is a warrior that represents all of us. Okay. And we're basically seeing which one of us is the bravest. So yes, um, if, if you take the Holy Grail, then none of us can enter the dungeon with the Holy Grail. And we play until um, uh, then that one person goes through. Now, um, we're going to start with the warrior. And we're all going to play the warrior. This was the original uh, character in uh, Dungeons of Mandom. And he has a natural uh, HP of 3. So if, he, if his hit points ever go down to 0, then you're defeated. And when you're defeated, um, that's kind of a loss for you. So a little vampire thing hit him would kill. Hit him for four, right? And it would kill him. Um, usually, if you die um, in in the official rules, if you die, you get two chances, and you just flip your card over. There's a red side to this, and and then if you die again, you're eliminated from the rest of the game. But we're not going to play that way today. We're just going to stay in the game the whole time, and we'll just kind of keep a tally of wins and losses. Um, if you make it through the dungeon and you have all your hit points remaining, then you will get a victory card and we'll just kind of see how, 
how we score at the end. We're just going to play four rounds and get through the four characters. So um, he also, this warrior, is carrying uh, plate armor, with, uh, which has, uh, adds five to your hit points. He's also carrying a shield, which adds three to your hit points. So he can take a lot of damage before he goes out uh, if he gets to go in with all that. Uh, we have a Vorpal Sword. Um, defeat one monster that you choose before entering the dungeon. So if, if you get to go in with the Vorpal Sword, you, you pick a... Declare it before. Yeah, declare before you start flipping cards over. And anytime you encounter that kind of monster, they're defeated. Um, dragon Spear defeats the dragon, which is number nine on the... Um, I believe that's number nine. Yeah. It is. Yes. And, oh, and there's the icon there, of course, um, to, the, to the right. The Holy Grail defeats monsters with even-numbered strength. And so you'll see the Holy Grail on your thing there, twos, fours, and sixes. And then the torches defeats monsters with strength of three or less. There's a cloak on six, seven, and I don't see a cloak. That's right, so some of these um, items are going to be for some of the other characters that we get to play, which is okay. one of the really cool benefits of picking up the, the yellow edition of this is that they come with the with these other optional characters. And there's a there's a expansion coming out, I think yeah. in August, uh, with, with new characters, characters and everything, and the box new monsters white. and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. All right, so I'll begin, and I'm not going to pass yet. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, draw, and of course, I'll put that in the dungeon. And then, Jeff, you want to go, and I'll, I'll do my best not to look at your cards here. Sitting in a line is not always best for cheaters. Yeah. So we'll go through the dungeon, top to bottom. Top to bottom, yes. yeah, so it, it, won't, it won't flip or anything. It'll go in the same order, uh, well, I guess in backwards order of how we're placing them there, so. And so I... Okay, so you took the torch out of whatever um, ones there. Torches aren't too dangerous here. Keep, keep adding to this dungeon here. And once you guys start getting cold feet, don't worry, you know, you can you can run away anytime. So that's one, two, three, four, so five. And, and, and one of the rules is we can always count the cards if we want to. Um, we just can't look at them or, or rearrange them. So the last one then, if you pass, you're out. Um, and the last one standing has to go through. Right, so if there's no cards left too, um, you're forced to pass because the rule is pass or draw. And so if we get through that deck, then one person will eventually just so go through. at least mm -hmm. seven monsters to have to go through. Oh, goodness. So Wade's well, taking out the plate armor as well. All right. So he's going in in the dark and in his, uh, in his under armor garments. Under armor okay. garments. And so, and so I'm the only one that knows what two are being left out. That's right. At this point. Yeah, that's right. So this is what it, when when do you get to decide you can anytime when do you get to decide you're actually going to be the one to go through when uh, two other people chicken out. Yeah. We're going to okay. play till till And your turn yeah. is take one, put it in the dungeon or chicken out. Right. Okay. Or take take one draw a card or chicken out. Oh, so before you draw a card. Yeah, okay, so before you draw a card. So if you're if you draw think this is too heavy for you and you kind of have an idea, then you may not want to go in. Um, I am going to... Because I took away both the ones. Yeah, I noticed. Well, not the ones. I noticed what you took, though. Yeah. That's not good. Um, I don't know. It's getting a little heavy for me, guys. Um, I'll go ahead and put that. Go have fun. Okay. Check it out. Um, I'm going to Way's gonna go through the dungeon. There we go. <laughs> Way's gonna go through the dungeon. <laughs> <in> the dungeon. <laughs> All right. All right, so as we do this, and I'll let you do the honors, you just flip the, the top um, card over. We'll start from the top. You have a total of six hit points. You're an armorless knight with a shield. Uh, before you start, though, is uh, to go ahead and declare a monster for your Vorpal sword. We have um, um, goblin skeletons. I think it's an orc, a it's vampire. It's going to be the, um, the number, number seven, seven, like that demon character, the number okay. seven. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we'll flip over the 
top card then. And it's that okay. it's the demon. Fantastic. So yeah. your Vorpal Sword will destroy Kill the demon. Alright. Alright. And so flip over again. Yep. Flip over again. Three. And orc. Three. And I did not kill that with the torch. Nope. So uh, you're going to take three hit points uh, yeah. damage. So that'll be your... your oh, this is run. becoming very clear that I'm not going to win now. <laughs> like I should have shaken out. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Now I, probably. Now I get it. Yeah. So four... Hey, but that's okay. You got the grail. Yeah, the so the, the vampire uh, is killed by the grail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't have the torch. That's okay. Uh, you're down to two hit two. points. That was a goblin that... Um, yeah. I have skeleton. The you have the grill. All right, and I'm down to one hit point. Down to one win. hit point, so you survive as I did. the wow. as the warrior. Yeah, congratulations for Thank your you. victory. Very well played, and um, <laughs> obviously, you know. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, did you see ever, how I feigned the? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to play. Yes, I saw that. So you really do know how to play. All right, all right. Good call. No. Ways. Uh, this is. I figured this was actually your kind of game. This is I like the kind it. of. This is the kind of game that, that you. Would I like own. it because I'm winning. <laughs> Ask me next round and if I'm tied with somebody. I will Tell you not. what, as a oh, winner, why don't you choose the next? Uh, the so next here we cycle character. through the four characters. Yeah, we're gonna for the video. We'll cycle through the four characters just so everybody can kind of see what the what the. Um, well, I'll. I'll the game. But okay. typically, you play till somebody earns two victory cards or. Uh, everybody's been eliminated twice except for the last person. You know. So at the beginning of the game, someone. You just decide on a random character. Play. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. I think you can either collectively decide, or it could be random. Okay. So, what, what would you want to do? Um, so, is the mage, or is this the rogue, or the mage that kills six, seven, and nine? Um, actually, that's a weapon. Oh, that's a I think weapon. it's the okay. rogue's uh, cloak. And how maybe? do you? Yeah, or how, does, cloak. how does the the rogue acquire said weapons? It, it'll all all those green ones will go with. Oh, okay. instead, of yeah, those. instead of those. Oh, it's yeah, just yeah. a completely different game. Yeah. Okay. Rogue it is. So, rogue it is. All right. So we'll go um, over the new rules. The rogue um, has a hit point of three, and she is carrying with her a healing po uh, potion. Uh, when you die, come back to life with your adventure's HP once per dungeon. So, okay. uh, so basically, you'll you'll slough off all the remainder. Damage, damage and then you'll come back with three HP. So if you're left with only one hit point and say you take six, yeah, you, you still come back, back with three, three for the, before the next monster. Uh, mithril armor, which is five hit points, um, a buckler, which is three, so very similar get up as the warrior there. Invisibility cloak defeats monsters with six or more strength, it has the little cloak icon okay. on there. Vorpal dagger, um, just like the Vorpal sword. Uh, choose the monster before you enter the dungeon. Hop inside. And yes, the ring of power. Good call. <laughs> Defeat monsters Mithril, with strength uh, two or less, and uh, add their total strength to your HP. So uh, if it's if it's the skeleton or the goblin, when you defeat them, you you uh, absorb their HP and you can add it to your own. So um, those are that character there. So if you go through the dungeon and die, what are the what are the repercussions? Well, in the in the official rules, the way we're not playing tonight, you flip this over, you get okay. two chances, and then you're just out of the game. Really, that's all it really boils down to. And until uh, and and really, it's kind of a king of the hill kind of game. Last person left wins, mm -hmm. but they kind of have a timer on the the victory cards where if you earn two, it kind yeah. of ends the game, so it doesn't go on forever. Yeah. Uh, since you're the winner, why don't you go first? Since, or since you're the not loser, I should say. Go ahead and kick this off with a little. Ah. Took the shield away. The buckler. I like the cards. They have a kind of a raised, shiny. Yeah, they on they them. did a really good. Um, I, this is my. You can go like onto BGG and see like some of the older versions of it, and it's it's pretty. It's still pretty neat, um, but I do think they did a, a really good job with the card. Taking the healing potion. So we're down to armor, cloak, a vorpal dagger, and a ring of power. Well, it's not heavy enough for me yet, so we're gonna keep keep trucking along there. So 
As soon as somebody takes that invisibility cloak, everybody else runs. Like, that's, that's the... Practically <laughs> so. <laughs> I feel like as long as we have the invisibility cloak and the Vorpal Dagger... That's probably, yeah. Like, we're, we may... I don't know. Okay. Well, I'm not, I'm not ready to chicken out just yet. Heavy there, Jeff. Uh, yes, it is. Okay, okay. <laughs> he took the invisibility cloak. So oh, I bid you adieu. As do I. <laughs> so. I knew that. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'll be this. All right. <laughs> you want to? You call the team the two if you'd like. Uh, no, no. Well, no, I won't. Um, I'm actually going to call the number five. Okay. Whatever those are. The golems, yes. Okay. So All let's right. see what we have here, right? Okay. I have, I have the written, right? Feet monster no, strength two less. or less. Feet one monster that you choose before you're in a dungeon. So I have one left. You have one hit, one point, hit point left. Point. The demon yeah, came out. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Skeleton. Three hit points now. That's right. Because the ring of power absorbed it. Four hit points. Yep. Wow. Okay. So one back down, point, to one. down to one. And the golem, the Vorpal Dagger. Yes. And a nine. Oh. That kills me. <laughs> and the nine. And the nine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was exciting. Yeah. That was very exciting. I saw the battle rage in my head. Mm. <laughs> Can't believe I got down to one card, actually. Nah, that was pretty amazing. That was fun knowing that the nine was coming up at the end. <laughs> <laughs> For you. <laughs> yeah. All right, Jeff, what would you like to play with here? We got well, Barbarian and the Mage. Just because it speaks to me. Gotcha. Go with the Barbarian. 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 Yes. Okay, so for our Barbarian, uh, hit point of four. He's a little bit tougher than the last two. Assume he doesn't um, have much armor. He does. He has oh, chainmail wow. of four okay. points. He's one of those kind of Barbarians um, that wears armor. Uh, a leather shield with three, so he's got a lot, a lot of hit points. Um, the Vorpal Axe, which is better than the others, um, you can wait until you draw the monster to declare it. Right, okay. So um, you don't have to declare it before you enter the dungeon. We've seen the torch before, kills monsters one, two, and three. A Warhammer, all it does is defeat the Golem, number five. And then we have that healing potion again that we saw with the Rogue. And the healing potion is just Come back to AP life in just his, his base. Form. Why didn't yeah, you use that one last game? Because... <laughs> yeah, I didn't have it. <laughs> Such a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, why don't you go ahead and start, Jeff? I think Wade just likes taking things off the. I do. Off the equipment I, I really That's do. his favorite part of it. But I want to the face game. this monster because you want to face it. That's what it is. Because it's a five, and I know now that yeah, that right, Warhammer is right, more right, right. important. So <laughs> right. the knowledge y'all have compared to the knowledge I have, right. with the five being in there is completely different. <laughs> oh my goodness! I knew this is your kind of game. He does this constantly. Even when no one's around. That's right. It's really embarrassing. His wife tells me all the time. My it's really games. <laughs> With myself. <laughs> uh, $10 you won't draw five. I'm pretending I've drawn both of them. I see. Wow, nobody's taking any equipment. We're stacking it. Ideally, I wonder if you can get through the, the entire dungeon with all the equipment, but I don't know if you could. I haven't min-maxed it yet. No. Barbarian doesn't need armor. That's right. Time. Hmm. Healing 
option. You never make it in with alien potion. It's a pretty heavy deck. We have what? Three left. Three left. And there's 13? There's 13. And two not in the dungeon. So eight. Yeah. But he's got quite a bit there. So I don't know. I I mean I'm I'm already out. I'm gone. I'm done. I would I'll try. I I think it's okay. I, I really do. Especially if this is what I hope it is. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't what I wanted it to be, but... He's not gonna need that Warhammer. I'm out. Okay. Okay. Right, we can do this. Best of luck. Jeff got down to one hit point, I can do this too. Or the one card, I can do it too. Alright. Um, I think that hits me for four. Yes. Um... <laughs> I'm not gonna use my Vorpal Axe just yet. Um, so, I'm down to three hit points. Now we'll use the oh, Vorpal Axe, yeah, yes, yeah. crush him, as the dragon. Uh, first one was the vampire and the dragon. Um, Vorpal Axed him. Got it. Yep. Skeleton, uh, torch beats skeleton. Torch beats orc. How many hit points do you have left? Yeah, three. Three? Okay. Six and seven is really all you have to worry about. You say that like you know there's sixes and sevens in there. Well, he says there's two fives in there. There's a golem crushed. And another golem crushed. Obviously not so two double at this point. Both of those. Hey, down to three cards. Oh, and that's a six. So that would have been it for the barbarian. The death, uh, the grim reaper took him out. But... My last two goblins would have been yes. taken care of, so <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. So far, it's uh, I believe you, I've got you've one. You've got one point, and we've got negative one. <laughs> right, the opposite of left. one. Um, all right, so we'll play with the mage here. See if something like um, tie. Now the mage has some pretty interesting, um, some pretty interesting cards, and I think these are probably the most creative here. So we'll we'll go over these. Um, mage has two hit points. Um, very uh, a little bit weaker, but then these are uh, some pretty strong cards. Uh, Holy Grail, we've seen that before. Uh, it defeats the even numbered monsters. Um, the protection bracelet, which is three three more hit points, um, and then we have um, all of these. Oh, I guess this is more like a shield. This wall of fire, so six oh, nice. more hit points. So they, they, I guess the mage does have a little bit more on the hit points than I thought. All right, I didn't hear wall of fire. I heard. Wall of fire, like the uh, wall of fire, wall, like it makes wall, things wall. into walls, <laughs> like the the what's the show the, with the platypus where he, Agent P, where is I have no idea what you're talking about. Ah, it's because uh, do y'all know what he's talking about? You can comment below. <laughs> you should. Agent P should if you if you know the show. Phineas and Ferb. He's a platypus. Okay. Yeah. yeah. When he makes the the evil genius makes everything into a like. Wall of fire. A wall of fire would be something that turns everything in the tri-state area into a wall. I will just take you. So he's got a wall of fire. <laughs> okay. That's that's what. All right. Demonic pact. Okay. Uh, the demonic pact. You defeat the demon and the next monster, whatever the next monster is that, oh, okay. that just flips over. If the demon's the last uh, card, you just ignore the. the Hold next on. Really monster. important. He doesn't end in fires. It's nator, so it'd be a wall of nator, not a wall of fire. It'd be an nator. So we're good. Sorry. Thank you. And I'm glad you clarified. Uh, polymorph, defeat one monster you draw, replacing it with the next monster from the deck uh, once per dungeon. So we'll have this um, we'll have this uh, deck left over here, um, and just and then we just change, yeah. We so change. it just you defeat the monster. Um, oh, you, you choose that monster at that time, kind of like the Vorpal Axe. You choose okay. that monster, but you replace it with this next. Uh, monster from the uh, draw deck and then omnipotence is the last one um, and this one you don't really know till the end of the thing if all the monsters in the dungeon were different then you win even if you were defeated earlier oh, in okay. the dungeon so if, if you're only defeated, the ones that you got to it's not it does it 
if you only got through two, is it just those two, or does it count the ones that you haven't seen yet? The rest of the uh, yeah, you go ahead and reveal the rest of the dungeon. Okay. And and if they're all different, even if those first two defeated you, if they're all different, this omnipotent scroll will, will clear right. out the dungeon for you, uh, as long as there's no doubles. Okay, so last round with the mage. And you begin. I'll begin. <clears throat> My wall of fire. Wallinator. Wallinator. I'll call Wallinator. It. <laughs> Still pretty confident. If I was a mage and we were mages and we were bragging about how good we were, I think this is this is my my jam right here. Yeah, I'm more of a mage kind of guy than a barbarian. All right, all right. I'm more of a yeah, uh, barbarian. I'm more yeah. of a Just demon close. discarder. <laughs> uh, no more Holy Grail. No more even number. As a mage, I just kind of felt like that was, yeah, you know, kind of cross at cross purposes with. The cult or something. Uh, um, I, don't, I don't think mages. <laughs> Take the omnipotence. Finish your sentences, I guess, is what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's four left to draw from. And the demon's still covered, plus something. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm done. I think this mage is, is hmm. a little too old and feeble. I'll let you guys. You laughed so hard because you actually did draw the demon. I don't remember what I drew to be honest. <laughs> it's also terrible at these kind of games because I'm like, oh, this is clever, and then yeah. I get there and I'm like, what did I do? Maybe hmm. I should just pass <laughs> since I don't remember. Um, I really want to go through. Then go. Um, but y'all have stacked the deck against yourselves. Not against me. I, I left. Yeah. I'm... Hold on, so when you draw something, that means you've left? When... No, I didn't draw. I drew uh, and then last time I passed. passed. Oh, passed. you chicken out. I chicken out the last time. Oh, wow. That was very smart of you. I'm gone. Yeah, I, this was this was two turns ago or, or three or early maybe round one. I don't remember. But yeah, you're. Um, I think you got a chance, but I wouldn't have a chance if I put another so no. one in there. So I'm I'm passing. Okay. All right. You do have a lot of hit points here. Uh, I got my wall. Eleven. You got eleven. Yeah, in your wallinator. And the, right. the demons in there. You're. It's all right. I got a demonic pack. I know you're hoping the demons in there. So three. Three. So yep, the bracelet of protection. Took it on the bracelet. Two. Mage is gone. You got six hit points left. You're dead. No, no, no. Oh, I have to. He is. He is the pack, and this will defeat the oh, next monster. Hold on, hold on. As well. And I thought and the, this one too. Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. I thought the demon was nine. No, that's the dragon. Yeah. So I believe I put the seven in there. I would have not passed at that point because I would right. have liked that. Okay. That so I a... defeat the orc, which was after the de demon, and then. So I have four. So uh, the vampire. Two, so you're gonna win. No, I'm down to two right now. You're gonna win. Down to I'm one. Gonna, I'm gonna say that I'm down to one. You can defeat the monster and take your shot at the next uh, uh, card. Yeah, but that'll take me to zero. I'm, I'll have to do it just because. Yeah. I hope so. It's a one, and then hope the other one's a zero. No. It's a, a golem came out. Mm. Was the next one a zero? One. Another one. Another that was one. so close, though. Those are all pretty close. Pretty close to the end. So, what did you pull out? Um, oh, I pulled out the uh, okay. whatever this guy is. The um, the demon. The de no, this is like oh, the Grim Reaper um, character. I don't know what he's called, but anyway. At least the dragon's at the bottom. <laughs> he's sleeping. 
Well, thanks guys for, uh, for yeah, playing. Yeah, uh, welcome to the dungeon. I hope you guys. Uh, I liked it a lot. Did you learn something? I, I won. <laughs> I did so. I learned very little. That's right. That's true. <laughs> Business is usual. That's right. See the pro at one upsmanship right here. Well, uh, thanks for joining us, and we want to thank uh, our host, Primetime, for letting us uh, come here and play games tonight. If you're in the Abilene area, make sure you come by and check out uh, Primetime Entertainment Center. Uh, they got a lot of great things to do here. It's always like, different every time I come here. Uh, you guys are always expanding and adding things on. So it's a great place to come. Check it out, and uh, we'll see you next time. Cool beans. Can we edit this one out? Just no. keep this in where I talk about I'm going to keep doing that. That's what I really like, want to do. It's going to keep like, replaying. Put it up. Put it up. <laughs>